Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Damon. You're Damon? Yes. Yes. Good morning. This is Judge Middleton. I'm here at the courthouse. Also with me is uh, the public defender, Ms. Matea Paycheck. Uh, you should be able to see her during some of this. Mr. Hughes, you got charged with retail fraud for allegedly yeah. stealing some Pokemon cards. So let's talk about this. Okay. It's alleged that a year ago, December 22nd of 2022, that you were at the Walmart store in Sturgis and, excuse me, Three Rivers, and you took a large amount of Pokemon cards and put them in your backpack. Um, they also knew you from the Sturgis Walmart store. Um, and you had apparently earlier or near that same time stole some trading cards from Sturgis. Um, but this is only the Three Rivers one. Now, this happened a year ago. Uh, they issued the warrant, and you called about it in February of last year, and we told you there was a warrant. And then we got another call that said you were in the homeless shelter in Branch County yes. and wanted to take care of this. So you turned yourself in at the jail. Uh, yeah. What day did you turn yourself in? Literally yesterday, uh, we tried going in at the Branch County Sheriff's Department, and then they denied uh, getting me because I did not have an ID, and I currently don't have my wallet at all. All right. Well, how do you plead to this charge that a year ago you stole some Pokemon cards from the Walmart in Three Rivers? Let me tell you what it is. It's a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Do you understand? Uh, can you repeat that again? I'm sorry. It is I... a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Probably one day in jail is sufficient for this. If you plead to this charge, I'm going to let you out of jail. I'm going to give you time to pay the fine and cost. I, you understand? I do plea, and um, there is more to um, what had happened. I was not the only one, and I can All right, well, test. well, let me let me stop you for just a minute. So, are you going to plead guilty to this yes. charge? Did anybody I'll threaten you to get you to plead guilty? No, um, no I'm just I'm... being completely honest. All right, well, I that's what we think. And it's not normally my character. And I big part of it was me being coerced into it by a friend. And I found out that he's not truly a friend. Yeah, that's and probably the case. I have a lot, like I can, he was a big part of it. And he was the one that planned everything. All right, well, let's talk about that in a minute. Do you understand that if you do plead to this charge, you will be giving up your right to have a trial in front of a judge or a jury? There will be no trial. Do you understand that? And what would come out of all this? Well, I told. let's finish this part first, then we'll talk about that. If you plead guilty to this, there won't be a trial. Do you understand that? All right. If you had a trial, you'd have the right to be represented by an attorney. All you got to do is tell me and I could appoint an attorney for you or you could hire one of your own choosing. If you had a trial, you'd have a right to have any of the witnesses for or against you subpoenaed to come to court so they could be questioned under oath. You would have the right to take the witness stand and testify on your own behalf. But you don't have to because you have a right not to testify. And if you did not wish to testify... They would not hold your silence against you. 
and you have the right to be presumed innocent if and until the state was able to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, I made a promise to you. I told you that if you pled guilty to this charge, I was going to let you out of jail and give you time to pay the fines and costs. Other than that, did anyone promise you anything to get you to plead to this charge? No, I was just going to be completely honest. All right, I well, beat right. myself every day over it, man. I really do. All right. Well, it ain't the crime of the century. You stole some Pokemon cards. Did you steal them to sell them or steal them to play Pokemon? A bit of both because I was having a hard time getting a job and I needed some way to make money. And I had, I kept trying to get a job and I didn't have no luck and I needed to pay bills. And I didn't know what to do and then my friend coerced me into it. Well, how much can you sell these packs for? It's, I don't remember, but I know some of them you could get like an extra dollar or two out of it, but that was it. All right. Where are you living right now? Currently at the homeless shelter in cold water. And I don't have any job or food stamps or anything. All right. Well, you're barred from Walmart stores. I'm going to give you one day in jail credit one day. The law presumes that I'm not supposed to order a jail sentence, and this wasn't the crime of the century. But it is interesting to know they knew you from Sturgis for doing the same thing. And when they uh, found this one, Sturgis said, hey, we know that guy. He stole some Pokemon cards from us, too. So I'm not sure how much your friend was coercing you. You were just in the Pokemon no. theft business. But the fine here is zero. There's a $75 crime victim's rights fee and a $50 state minimum fee, $162 restitution to TR Walmart, $287. And make that due by next June. When did you last work? My last job was at McDonald's, and that was uh, a month ago, give or take. Which McDonald's? The one in Coldwater. All right. You're going to need some time to get your life back in order. Where's your family? I don't have my sister in Sturgis, and she's not really much of a support system. And both my mom and dad are dead. Who brought you over here to turn yourself in? Um, I went to the sheriff's department and they wanted to take me. So then I had to go back to the shelter. And then Paul, the owner of the shelter, um, he's had past issues in the past with the law. And he's turned over a new leaf and he was trying to help me out. So he made calls to like the district court and all that, trying to help me out, be able to get here so I could turn myself in because that's what I wanted to do. Well, I appreciate that. Now, you're going to get out here in a little bit. Have you got somewhere to go? Will someone come get you? I'll have to call Paul. He said he'd call me. He said for me to call him and he said he can work something out. But all right. If not, I... If he can't, then I have nobody, nowhere to go. Well, I would then ask you to maybe go to Keystone, our homeless shelter right here in Centerville. You know where that is? I think so. Well, the sheriff can tell you. You can walk there from there. But I don't want you to be standing out there in the cold. Anyway, you can't go to Walmart and you owe me $287. By June 30th. And oh. that's one year you can't go to Walmart. And is that, wait, which Walmarts or is that just the whole chain? All as of them. All of them. All of them? Yep. No Walmart for a year. And this is actually a year. You waited till after Christmas. So I guess I respect that. But you did turn yourself in. You stole some cards because you needed money. And that's not good, but I'm not going to leave you in jail for stealing some Pokemon cards. 
Um, so if you can't get a ride, you go to the homeless shelter here in Centerville, and I think they can put you up till somebody can come and get you. Do you have any questions? Um, would it, the information I have in regards, like I said, my friend, he was the one that did all the planning and all of that and yes. forced me into it. Um, is there any way I can like give information about that? Because I'm no longer. Well, this friend. is a Three Rivers police case. You could give that information to the Three Rivers police. Because I know the person, he lives in Sturgis, and he was on probation during that time. Because he um, always. Well, what was his there. name? And one of the problems is your word versus his. I don't know whether he's in the video or not. I I don't know, but I know he was there, and he was the one that like had us drive off and everything. Because I don't drive. He is Hispanic, but I don't know if any of this helps. Yeah, well, that, that's a very common name. Sadly, yeah. Well, I don't know, sadly, but a lot of people are named. Uh, well, all right, you can share that with Three Rivers PD if you wish, but otherwise you're free to go. And if you can't get a ride, you should go to the Keystone Center here in Centerville. All right, good luck, Mr. Hughes. Stay I out of Walmart. I hope you guys have a nice day, by the way. All right, thank you for that. You're good to go. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a guy who stole fishing lures. His whole occupation was stealing fishing lures and selling them at flea markets. And that was actually, a pretty, they're very fungible, very marketable. Some of them are more expensive. He'd sell them for five bucks, still in the package. And that's how he made his living. And I said, how far did you go in school? He said, I never went. He never went to any school. Um, and his thing was going and going fishing boats. I wouldn't recommend it, but they were quite easily saleable. I don't know what the sale market for Pokemon cards is, but... Thank you.